that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. So here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Big body kick lands. Let's dig deep now. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Trying to find a home for that right hand. to the body by the taller fighter. Got the single collar tie. Big knee lands to the body. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Try to establish that jab. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Ooh, found a home for that knee. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictated the nice fight with a jab. Right. Nice take. Under three minutes remain in round one. We got a scramble here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good punch, Lance. Center line slips the punch. Hey, oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And he connects there with a the punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He's got to be careful dipping his head just throwing that jab. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Hey, 
Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Just misses with the jab there. be able to be very active on your feet. 30 seconds to work. Oh, collar tie. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice straight punch. Just out of range with the big right hand. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is gonna need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, that's a nice strike. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice punch here. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 
Shot to the body here, blocked by Gedalia. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. That's a big strike right there. Beautiful leg kick. Left punch is good. Oh, single collar tie here. Output here, so aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice, sneaky head kick. Yeah, I might let you kick the inside. Oh! And what a round! Oh, what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. <laughs> Big leg kick land. Oh, Superman punch. And he continues to work the body here. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Doubles up on the jab. Blocks the shot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Nice punch lands over the top. Good deal, you go. Wow! Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Gedalia gets back up again. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop. <laughs> oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Let's go. 
Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, Gedalia's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Back to the feet now. Visibly limping here. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Right under the elbow. Cut him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. He misses with the right hand. Ooh, what a punch. Powerful leg kick lands. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. He lands a big knee to the body. So once again, no surprise, DC. The fighter with the longer reach able to land another punch there. Well, it's one thing to have length, that's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Gedalia. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Gedalia's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Ooh, big shot land. Let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Straight punch lands. Miss with that jab attempt there. Choi gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Choi. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Nice punch lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Swing and a miss with that punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Cadelia's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Watch knees to the body. Big head kick lands. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. And 
once again looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Under three minutes remain in round four. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Gedalia. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double leg. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, working inside the close guard now. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Great punch. Under two minutes now to go. No! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Close guard. Back to the feet now. That one appeared to stun him. Whoa! And that's gonna do it! That'll do it! He got him! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent.